Virgo. Hello, Capricorn. It is Wednesday, and today is the day for Earth signs. So welcome to your energetic check-in for the week ahead. Um, if you are interested in getting a private reading with me, please look below. The information is there. You can go to Wizio if you're outside of Canada, wisio.com. And if you are someone who lives inside Canada, please just email me at elsie.tenacupstarot.ca. Anywhere in the world where you live, you can go to my website at tenacupstarot.ca. Today we are... Oh, actually, first of all, I'm going to ask you to give a thumbs up. <laughs> if you can give a thumbs up on one of my videos, I would be really grateful for that. That is a free way you can support my channel. If you're interested in supporting it financially, you can go ahead and uh, book a reading with me if you really want something for your money. So thank you so much for all of you that do support me. I appreciate you so much. So thank you so much for... Um, everything that you do for me and uh, like I said I really want you to subscribe but if you decide not to I really would uh, love if you would give me a thumbs up on one of my videos if you are um, liking the content okay so we're just going to get started because cards keep falling out so we're going to take two of these cards which is the universe has your back and then we're going to talk about those as well so the first card that we have out for you here Virgo is instead of praying for an outcome I pray for the highest good of all interesting. So by asking for the highest good of all, um, you are including yourself in that blessing. Let's get one more card here, Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Virgo. Virgo. Thank you. There we go. And one more card. We have... I am a spirit having a human experience, and I'm here to get closer to love. So we've got a love um, reading here. So instead of praying for an outcome, I pray for the highest good of all. So that means you, the person that you are thinking about, the person that you may be in love with, you are asking for the highest good of all. And um, let's, uh, ooh, let's clarify this a little bit. Um, cards are flying already. I'm just going to cut these because I've already, I've already uh, blessed them. Virgo, let's give it a shot here. Instead of praying for an outcome, I pray for the highest good of all. And so that includes you, Virgo. Too many cards, but it looks like there is an empress here. And uh, that is um, the uh, energy of um, Taurus and Libra many cards to read all at once though let's go here so I think what you feel is for the highest good of all is that you have some sort of a transformation. Something is coming to an end, Virgo, and it's time for you to transform your life. I feel like um, you're not you're you're trying not to control the outcome and that's absolutely correct. I feel like you're leaving it in the hands of spirit and spirit is saying this is, you know, it's time for you to have um time for you to take a different path. Whenever something comes to an end, something must begin and it's time for this to come to an end. Um tell me what it is that's coming to an end, please, for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter. What is coming to an end? So what's coming to an end is um, you having victory. So you having success. I feel like um, this may be in a relationship and I think that we will confirm that or we'll clarify that further on. But the energy of the Six of Wands is a lot of people watching you. I feel like you have put yourself in a position where a lot of people are looking into your life. And I feel like that they are... Um, watching you grow, watching you succeed, but they're also watching, you know, little steps backwards that you take, maybe little tiny failures that you have. But the thing is this, Virgo, is that we all have failures. We all do the cha-cha. This life is about two steps forward, one step back, three steps forward, one step back. It's all about the cha-cha. And, um, you know, when something comes to an end, something does start again. So if something is coming to an end for you, it's just because another thing is about to start. And um, you may be having success in doing whatever you're doing right now, but maybe you chose that. Maybe it's not the right thing for you. Maybe it's giving you more heartache than it is giving you more fun. I feel like there is something coming to an end here. So we have the death card and we have um, the closing of a, 
of a cycle here. So I feel like you want to close a cycle with someone who is either Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. You could be wanting to close a cycle with someone who is a Scorpio. Nope, sorry, um, someone who is, yeah, a Scorpio. And I feel like when you say I'm a human spirit, nope, I'm a spirit having a human experience, um, I feel like that tells me that you've leveled up spiritually because that is really a high level look at spirituality. You know, when you realize that you are a spirit here, that really the casing that you come in, this body that we get, it really doesn't matter as much as the experiences and the knowledge that you collect along the way. So I feel as though you are... You have realized that you are a spirit having a human experience and that you are here to get closer to love. I think you've realized that maybe, maybe you're not in love. Now, um, this maybe doesn't, yeah, there's a heartbreak here. This maybe doesn't resonate with you, um, Virgo, and that's okay too because this isn't going to resonate with everybody. Um, if you are looking at this from your purpose of your sun sign, it's probably not going to resonate with you just because um, your sun sign is your personality and uh, you probably want to go to um, the link in my banner up top. It's on the bottom right hand corner and go there and, and look at what your, your rising and your moon sign are and watch those videos because those are really going to resonate with you more than your sun sign. Okay, so uh, yeah, something here is coming to an end. I see something coming to an end with death, a transformation. You might be transforming to victory because you're closing a chapter. Um, I feel like you're done with the heartache, though, the heartache and the heartbreak. Um, I feel like there is there has been a relationship here that is having a lot of issues. It's having a lot of fighting, a lot of arguing, a lot of petty arguments. And I think that it's run its course. It's run its course. You both have broken hearts. And it's time for you to start again. I think that the death and the world card are telling me that it's time for you to start again. Let's clarify here. Let's clarify. These cards will not go together. I feel like there's been some tough times. I feel like there's been some tough times here and um, that somebody is trying to force someone else to do something and it's just not working. I'm um, just going to cut these. All right, so we need to clarify death. Tell me about death for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. We have the Five of Swords. So there has been a lot of arguments. Um, I feel like there's been... <sighs> hmm. I feel like you're overthinking it, Virgo. Um, I feel like there are a lot of petty arguments. They are cutting. I do see blood on this card. You can see that there's just a little bit of blood down there. Um, I feel like there is... Um, competition. There could be competition for your love. You could be in competition for someone's love. Um, but I think what you're going to choose to do is move forward anyway. Um, you're going to move forward, I think, because of the trends, um, the transformation that you're going through. I feel like your person could be in a third party connection. And if they're not in a third party connection, you could just want to get out and celebrate with friends. Because this is, um, uh, you know, touching the victory. Maybe the transformation is, you know what, I'm done here. I'm done here. I need to see other people. I need to go out. I need to have some fun. The Queen of Wands is definitely someone who's fun. Also someone who's very confident in the life that they lead. We have the Judgment card, which tells me that there could be um, you making a decision, making a decision to close this chapter, and that the celebration that you're having is one where you're going out and celebrating that you're single again. Um, and I feel as though there is someone in your past that's coming forward that, you know, it could very well be that you're making just a decision and saying, this is my decision, I'm not going back on it. Um, but I feel like um, that there also is someone in the background, that there could be a some sort of a resurrection or that you hope that there is a, um, a reconciliation. I feel like there's some sort of an, a breakup here. And I think that you're hoping your person will come back. The thing is this, is that if you are really are praying for the highest good of all, um, that 
it will be for um, you'll be saying prayers for the person that has left you as well, or has gone away, or the way the break the breakup was. You left them, they left you, whatever it is. Um, that you really do want to level up spiritually. And I feel like you want to grow roots, you want to grow roots. Um, but I feel like you want to grow roots on your own. I feel like you want to go out on your own, that you've been in a relationship for a very long time, and you're done compromising, that you just want to plant your own pentacles, and you want to grow your own roots. And you don't want to have to, um, you know, check with a mate, check with um, uh, whomever you're married to. I think you want to climb that staircase. You want to uh, ascend with your spirituality. I feel like you're spiritual, but your person isn't. I feel like you want to do the right thing with them. Um, but I have a feeling that, yeah, that, that you're still hanging out there, that you haven't left the home yet. You haven't left the relationship because you're waiting to see what life is going to bring you. And I see this a lot. I see people waiting for a relationship to get out of a relationship. You guys, it never works. You're taking the baggage from this old relationship, taking the baggage to the next relationship. So um, the uh, the broken heart that you're feeling here is not going to heal. You're just going to take your broken heart to someone else and start all over again. Look, we've got two broken hearts here. We've got two three of swords. And um, I feel like you are someone who is um, really wanting to feel different. You want to feel loved. You want to feel admired. You want someone uh, to inspire you. And I don't think you're getting it in the relationship that you're getting in, but I, I think that you are planning to leave this relationship strategically, but I feel as though you are waiting for another relationship to come along before you leave this relationship. You're just going to see if there's anything better out there. Um, you feel like your person's been lying to you, that they're not being honest with you at all, that there's something that they're keeping from you. And, um, that you are in love with this person. Yeah, you are in love with this person, but that you want new love. You want the feeling, you know, the butterflies in the belly. You want the the feeling of being in love. You want the um, the person, you know, you want the butterflies in the belly when they kiss you. And I think you're done with the stagnant energy of the relationship you've been in for way too long. We have marriage. Yeah, it's about a marriage, I believe. I think that you're in a marriage that you're not happy in, Virgo. And uh, we do have the lovers here, but we and we also have courtship. <laughs> so I think you either want your person to court you again, to treat you like you're a girlfriend or a boyfriend, that you want to start all over in love, that you want to ramp up this marriage. But I feel that either you or the person that you're with is being a false person. Someone is lying to you. And you know that person is lying to you and you're not really sure if you can carry on this relationship at all. It's making you sick. You're tired of feeling sick, like nobody wants you, like you're not wanted, like you're, um, um, that you're, the person doesn't love you enough to tell you the truth, that I feel like you've been married for so long that it's time for the divorce, that your health is not getting any better, and it's not because of anything that you have taken on that's making you sick. I think this relationship is making you sick. I think you two keep arguing and fighting. There's expectations that are too high for you to reach. You make expectations, they make expectations, and neither one of you can reach those expectations. I feel like you've gone to family and friends to ask for advice to see if they can help you. And um, I feel like, yeah, regardless of whether you ask for the help of family and friends, I feel like you feel this person is stealing from you, that they're stealing your happiness, stealing your joy, um, stealing the happiness that you should have in this life. You really do need a change. And um, I feel like you want to travel. You need a change. You want to move away. You want to move away from this energy. I feel like you two have been together so long that you've forgotten what it's like to be... Um, to be in a relationship and really love each other. I think you're taking each other for granted. And um, it's time for you to go out on your own. It's time for you to close the door on this long relationship and feel um, something brand new. I think you almost feel like when I brought up the card of bad health, I almost what I heard was dead inside. I feel like this doesn't bring you excitement anymore. This relationship doesn't bring you happiness anymore. You're not in 
inspired by your partner. In fact, we've got it twice here that you're in heartbreak. You want to end a relationship. I feel like you really want to be that spirit, having a human um having a human experience and I don't feel like you can do that. The answer is no to what? Recovery. So there isn't a recovery happening in this relationship. It says that it's unlikely and no. Yeah. That um, you need to communicate clearly and look for a sign. Um, you need to ask your angels. And it really is up to you. The ball's in your cart, in your court, Virgo. So it really is up to you. Um, you can remain positive through all of this, and it really is time to let go. If you're not happy, it's time to let go. And that really is. Um, I'm sorry for the negative um, reading, but you guys, I cannot ignore what the universe says. I cannot ignore the voices that I'm getting. I cannot ignore the cards that I'm getting. I'm not reading them in a certain way. I'm getting the messages in a certain way. And you know what? The fact of the matter is, is I don't sugarcoat. I just tell you how it is. I am only the messenger. I am not the one making the rules or the suggestions or telling you what to do. I really am the messenger. What do we have here? We have the Phoenix. New phase. Again, we're ending a chapter, right? New phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, and a change of mind. So there really is time to save this relationship. If you're willing to grow and change and they're willing to grow and change, there's time to resurrect this relationship. And if you're not willing to, it's time for you to call it quits. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. It's time for you to manifest what it is that you want and stop pretending that you're doing what you want to do. Outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. It's time for you to stop persecuting your person for the same things over and over and over again. <coughs> it's time to let go. Whether or not there are children involved, I don't see that there are any children involved here, but whether or not there are children involved, sometimes it really is just time to let go. Virgo, thank you for coming here and watching this. I am so grateful to you for doing that. So sorry that it wasn't better news, but it might be something that is good for you, something that you needed to see to give you food for thought. And I'm not telling you to leave your spouse. I'm telling you that it, this is all salvageable, but it starts with you, the balls in your court. Okay, I'm going to go for now. I will see you next Wednesday. Thanks, Virgo. I'll be right back with the Capricorn reading. Bye now. Hello, Capricorn. Thank you very much for coming here, for clicking here. I am Elsie, and I am here to do your reading for the week ahead. So energetic check-in, right? Um, if you are someone who is interested in a reading, please, uh, if you're interested in a personal reading, please, if you're outside of Canada, please contact me over at Wizio, W-I-S-I-O dot com. If you are someone who is in Canada, please just email me, Elsie at tenacupstarot.ca. And no matter where you are in the world, you can always visit my website, tenacups tarot.ca. We are going to be using the universe has your back. We're going to ask for two cards and we're going to see what sort of energy we get from those two cards and then we will do a reading based on that. And we have two cards. There we go. My fearless freedom lights up the world. I would say that that would be correct. That um, I know some Capricorns and they do have fearless freedom. Surrender to a power greater than me. I surrender to a power greater than me. And um, maybe you don't, but if you're here and you're looking for a reading, you must believe in some sort of higher power, whether that's Jesus, God, Buddha, uh, Allah, whoever it is, whoever you pray to, whoever um, gives you your strength, you must believe in a higher power if you are serious when you come here to look at your tarot information. So you have to have some sort of a spiritual kind of uh, background, I would assume, unless you're here just to be low vibing and then we understand why you um, don't have a belief system of any kind. <laughs> Okay, and whether that is atheism or agnosticism or whatever it is, if you don't have, um, if you do have a belief system, good for you. And if you don't, maybe we're going to give you one today. Who knows? Okay, so uh, my fear, no, my fearless freedom lights up the world. Tell me about your fearless freedom, Capricorn. 
fearless about being single. So this is uh, someone who is single and abundant. So this is a singles reading. Better put that in the title so somebody can see it. You know, you guys, I don't uh, I don't exclude people who are single um, on purpose. I read what comes up. So if it tells me there's a relationship or I get information telling me there's a relationship, there's a relationship. I can't tell you there isn't. But this particular one is talking about someone who is single and abundant. So you are someone who is fearless, doing it on your own staying in balance. You could be um, interested in someone who is a Libra or you just are really in balance being single. And you know, that's not a bad thing because some people are the most in balance when they are single. And then we have uh, surrendering to a power greater than you. Maybe you're talking to your source saying, please, please keep me in balance. I just want to stay in balance here. Um, this particular card, this person is walking a tight rope. So um, this person is trying really hard to stay in balance. They have a coin in each in each hand. So at any moment, they could lose their balance and, and fall from this tight rope. Um, I feel like you are tired of um, getting breadcrumbed, that you are tired of people not giving you the things that you needed, that it is all about reciprocity for you, that you are the person who requires someone else to put 100% in, and then you'll put 100% in, whether that's a friendship, um, a relationship, a love relationship, whatever that is, that you are someone who really does require someone else to put in their fair share. And if they don't, you're just going to cut them out because, you know, when someone is this single and abundant, you really don't need anything else. You don't need anyone else. You're like, you're good. You're good the way you are. And um, let's clarify that nine of pentacles a little more here. Oops, there we go. All right. Just going to cut these cards here. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that, Capricorn. All right. Um, nine of Coins. What's going on with the Nine of Coins? Clarify, please, for um, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. For the week ahead, please give us the energy that we need to clarify the Nine of Coins. So nine of coins, I feel like you are someone who has a lot of friends, someone who um, will go back home in order to, you know, get reacquainted with the people that you love. I feel like you are someone who is... Um, an animal lover, someone who maybe just fills their life with animals <laughs> rather than people. I feel like the Six of Cups makes you feel like you are young again, um, that when you are you are this single person and others see you as someone who just doesn't age, it seems. Someone who is like Benjamin Button who backwards ages. <laughs> um, the Five of Wands tells me that you have been thinking about um, your balance lately and wondering if if you might want to get into a relationship, wondering if there is a soulmate out there for you, and that sometimes you're like, do I need a relationship? Do I not need a relationship? Do I want a relationship? Do I not want a relationship? Because really, with the Nine of Pentacles, it really is about want at this point. It's not about need, because you don't really need anyone. We have a tower here, and the tower is... Um, Something that changes really quickly. It is Major Arcana, something you must move through. And we will clarify that to find out what's going on here. I feel like sometimes the um, the thoughts that you have in your head, should I, shouldn't I, you put yourself in your own tower mentally. And um, I think that you're just wondering, am I... <coughs> <coughs> so sorry, talking too much today. Am I someone who really needs love? Um, I feel like you, you were in a relationship. Um, I feel like you're single currently, but I feel like there was a tower in love and that you thought about it really hard before you decided to end the relationship. Um, and you are, um, you do want love here and you did cause this tower. I feel like, um, the person that you were with is maybe someone who um, really loved you deeply, was really very romantic, but I feel as though they were almost smothering you. I look at all this water and I feel like, oh, 
um, they were surrounding you constantly and you just couldn't deal with the, um, the surrounding of you constantly. You couldn't breathe. You couldn't, um, go your own way. Um, sometimes you would get messages and they would be over your shoulder. Who's messaging you? And they were, um, they were smothering you. And I think that you decided because of the jealousy that you would let this relationship go. The thing is this. Queen and King of Cups tells me you were a perfect match. But in between you are these messages. So I feel like you allowed the social media, the texting, that kind of thing. You allowed that to get into the middle of your relationship. And it caused heartbreak. It caused um, for one of you to get really riled up with the other one and go on a different path. Um, I feel like you, um, yeah, you went on a different path. I feel like you, you got some good news from a friend, one of these messages, and they were like, hey, you need to come be over here. If you can't deal with what's going on where you are, I think that you need to come over here, and that's what you did. And so I think you left your person because you really didn't want to feel smothered anymore poverty and I feel like that's how you felt about this relationship you felt like it was never going to be rich like you were never going to make things work like you always felt as though they wanted you to dress down they didn't want you to wear makeup or didn't want you to wear your hair a certain way they didn't like when you dressed a certain way whether you're male or female I feel like they had so much jealousy that they made you dress down as though you were impoverished because they didn't want anyone else to have a reason to be um, attracted to to you and that gave you a lot of concern and you were thinking how is this person just keeping me in this cage or keeping me under the water and um, just smothering me constantly um, before we go any further with this deck I do want to look at this tower um, tell me about this tower here I think it's about love and I think you caused it but let's get a couple of cards on it anyway because you know that's what I do I'm nosy I'm a reader so <laughs> don't take away my joy <laughs> So um, tell me about the tower here. What energy is this tower? It's the Hierophant. Yeah, this person wanted you to marry them and you felt you felt like you couldn't um, get any clarity from them because they, <coughs> pardon me, were just constantly on you. And... Um, you wanted to tell them, look, we need to we need to hold off on the marriage because there's things we need to talk about. And this person um, didn't want to didn't want to talk. They saw you as the empress. They see other people loving on you. They see other people knowing knowing that other people were attracted to you as well. They just kind of wanted to keep you in a cage, keep you under wraps. They wanted to keep their soulmate close, and they didn't want anyone else to have a chance at. Um, at stealing you away from them. And unfortunately, what happened ended up happening is that you pushed them away. So um, uh, they see you as the privileged lady. They see themselves as the person who is in poverty. And um, they felt that maybe you were too good for them. There was a, a really high expectation that you would do everything they wanted you to do. Um, and it may have been because of sudden wealth. Um, they felt like they were giving you money and buying you things, and that should have kept you in order for them. Um, and although you gave them the high honor for working really hard and bringing in all the things that you loved and wanted, um, it was like, uh, yeah, this unexpected income came in, and right away they felt like they owned you. Um, they felt like because they bought you these things that... Um, you could then act like a false person and just keep them in this, keep you in this um, money prison, essentially. You went to family and friends and said, look, I don't know what to do. Since since this person has started making more money, they feel like they own me. And um, the community came uh, to your rescue and gave you some advice. They advised that you move, that you go to a distant horizon, that you... Um, that you either um, move towards them or just move away from the person you were with, that it was time for you to go on your own journey and that's how you became single. That maybe there was another courtship out you out there that would be better for you. There's the lovers at the bottom of the deck, but that there may be a courtship out there that would be better for you than the one that you were in. And um, I feel like this person really did love you Capricorn. I feel like they really do love you, but I just feel as though um, this is the way they were taught. 
um, they were taught that the person that has the money is the boss, and then they tried to shove you into a box in which you just could not live in. Uh, we have Phoenix, new phase, uh, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, and change of mind. So I think if this person were to get themselves um, in a better mindset, I feel like this, this could be saved, this relationship, but as of right now, it's dead. It says endings bring new beginnings. And that's what I saw here with the card of, which one was it? Um, ending, yeah, the tower card. So endings bring new beginnings. The tower card ended up right against the two of cups. So uh, it says growth and change, liberation and uh, transition. So you decided that you were going to transition to someone who was different, someone who had their own life and made their own decisions and didn't have to live up to expectations. Um, this card is completion, enemy, clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder. That's what this person was doing, looking over your shoulder. Because um, they thought that maybe there was another partner that you were talking with, another woman or another man. And um, they couldn't handle the thought of uh, not having control over you. Let's get some advice for you, Capricorn. I'm sorry that this isn't more positive, but you guys, I can't lie. I have to read the cards as they come up. And um, that definitely was the break of a relationship and somebody ended up single. We have communicate clearly. Um, I don't know if it's salvageable, this relationship, but if you are going to communicate with this person, be sure that you rehearse what you're going to say, that you know what you're going to say ahead of time and then take action. I feel like you are... Um, being given an opportunity with someone else. So I don't know if you're going to go back to this person, but I feel like if you trust them, that maybe you could have a friendship. Be assertive with them. Make sure that they um, are not the person with the upper hand. They don't own you. They can't tell you what to do. And then wait. Let them know what is going to go down if they want to have a conversation and they want to have a, a conversation about the end and how you're supposed to split assets, that you're ready to talk about it. Otherwise, they're going to have to, you know, move along and ask help from others and find out what it is that they can do in order to uh, bring you back uh, towards them. And if you believe that this will happen within the next few months, you can make it happen, I believe. There is no need to worry. Things are going to work themselves out. I think that... Um, you really are the person who is fearlessly free and that you are someone who really does want to surrender. So during your meditations, please ask, ask, what do I do now? What energy do you want me to do? What, you know, the ball's in your court. It is, um, it is really up to you. If you want to compromise, there is room for compromise here. But I don't know. You left this situation because you didn't want to compromise. All right, Capricorn, we're going to leave it there. That's what I have for you this week. I hope that, it's, that it resonated with somebody. If it did, please let me know because this, uh, this um, reading wasn't exactly... Well, I mean, I guess it was positive in the fact that somebody did get what they needed. They went down another path. They did um, get out of a relationship that made them uncomfortable, that made them feel kept. So I'm glad for that. But the person who ended up losing here is... is um, yeah, it makes me sad for them. But I'm going to go for now. I will get you next Tuesday because that's your day, right? I'm going to go for now. I will see you. Bye-bye.